government's efforts to fight off virtual recession appear to remain weak in its traction as evidenced with dwindling economic activities across key sectors in what civil society on budget insists is a failing strategy. We need to see agricultural extension that has institutionalized and systematic systems of linkages between what NAD Secretariat is doing while giving out inputs and between what NARO is doing and perhaps the export uh, strategy that we have as a country and the industrialization. In next year's budget strategy unveiled last week, State Minister for Finance in charge of planning, David Bahati, said economic recovery will be anchored on efficient implementation of the current policies and programs as captured in the National Development Plan too. The proposed budget strategy that I have outlined major aims at increasing production and productivity in agriculture, fast-tracking industrialization, ensuring preparedness to deliver fast oil by 2020, harnessing tourism potential, and mindful of the urgent need to promote environmental protection, efficient urbanization, equity, and social economic inclusion of those at the bottom of the economic ladder. Furthermore, observers opine that streaming agriculture sectoral investments should offer pragmatic solutions to the country's export and industrialization plans. In the very short term, uh, growth is, is, is impaired in my own view. We need to look at private investment, private capital that can come and be used uh, and, and deployed into agriculture. The whole discussion about agriculture financing is very, very critical. Uh, the things that we see now that exist, for example, um, agricultural financing facility, I don't think it has been optimized. Today's civil society revelations further casts a dark shadow on the government's target to attain lower middle income status by 2020.